Welcome back to the Morning Blend Extra. Today, we are joined by Arlette Bonney from Holcomb Bank. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. So, what are the key differences between a first mortgage and a home equity loan? And how can consumers decide which sure. one is best? for them. Yeah, so typically a mortgage is used to purchase a property or to refinance an existing loan on that property. Home equity loans are used to allow borrowers to um, tap into the equity and um, without losing that first rate on their mortgages. Gotcha. So in what ways can homeowners use their home equity, responsi home equity responsibly to achieve their financial goals? Yeah, so home equity loans allow homeowners to tap into that equity um, and fund any home improvements to improve the value of the property. Um, again, all without losing the interest on their first mortgage. Another way that they can use a home equity loan would be to consolidate high interest debt um, to lower their um, interest cost overall and their monthly payments. Payment. So right now in the market, what do you think are some of the uh, most common renovations people are doing and able to use a home equity loan for? Sure. So kitchen um, and bathroom remodels, um, those are going to give you a little bit more of value um, for your money. Um, anything like that would, would help improve the value. Yeah. So is right now the best time to go out and purchase a home? If not, then uh, when would it be? Yeah, so yes, right now, most um, experts in the industry will tell you that yesterday was the right time to purchase a home. Um, if you look at rates over the last 40 to 50 years, they are still historically low. So don't let the rates scare you from possibly pursuing a, a purchase. So, um, and typically um, there is a saying in the home industry, home in the mortgage industry that um, you date the rate but you marry the property so again if you find the right property for your family um, don't be scared of, of the interest rates and you can potentially refinance down the road so how does one go about starting up this process any recommendations any uh, starting tips that you would give yeah certainly so we definitely encourage everybody to get pre-qualified first um, it's really quick and easy you can do it online um, over the phone or in person um, usually it takes um, about 24 to 48 hours for us to do that for you nice so you mentioned being pre-qualified is that important during house yes. hunting yes definitely it's really important it allows um, buyers to better manage their budgeting and kind of know where they're at it also allows sellers to know to know that you're serious and are capable of making that purchase so if somebody <laughs> wants to be pre-qualified do they come to you guys is that your yeah guys's? yeah definitely so um, you can go to our website and apply online or give us a call um, and again it's a fairly easy and quick process Nice. Do you guys help much when it comes to actually looking at the places or are you guys like, oh, here's this, you know, here's what you're pre-qualified for. Go out and have fun and let's see what you can find. Hopefully <laughs> yeah. it's the right house for you. Yeah, definitely. So we pre-qualify you um, depending on your circumstances for the max amount and then um, kind of give you some guidelines within that and what product works best for you. Um, and then, yeah, you can get set up with a realtor and start shopping. Ooh, man, yeah, I'm not looking forward to house hunting anytime soon. I still got a little bit of ways for that. Yeah. But uh, overall, how would you say, um, what would be the most important part when you're looking for a home? Um, yeah, so definitely stay within your budget. <laughs> <laughs> um, so especially with rates right now. So um, and find a local realtor that knows the area. Um, that really is, is helpful for, for buyers. So when you said staying in your budget, is there like a percentage of a monthly income that should go to housing that you think would be a good rate that we can all kind of like a follow rule of thumb wise? Yeah, definitely. So about 43 to 45% debt to income ratio is what we like to say. Okay. So can you go expand a little bit further upon that? So 43, 45, does that mean that you're... Uh, 43% of your budget on a monthly basis should be going towards your uh, mortgage loan? So I apologize, the 43-45 is your overall debt to income. So housing alone, we'd like to be at about 35%. So okay. yeah, you take your income and then um, specifically your primary residence um, budget and that's how we figure that out. Okay, gotcha. Is there anything else you would like to say? Um, no, I mean, we can be reached at um, our website, which is www.holcomb.bank, um, or we can give us a call at 815-562-3838, and we'd be happy to help you with your financing needs. Ah, that sounds amazing, and mm -hmm. hopefully people can go out and use you guys, find yeah. the right home for them, and be able to find, hopefully, no, well, they're forever. Yeah. <laughs> well, again, thank you so much for having us on, yeah. and when we come back, 
a lot to talk about as we do have Old Settlers Day with us. So you might want to grab your truck, your boots, and your hat. We'll have those details coming up right after the break.